<clears throat> morning, morning, or afternoon, real close. We're still morning here. Some of you are afternoon. I thank you so much. Welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. As always, in the name of our ancestors, peace forever and always. I'm the host, the mighty one. I am known here on social media. Wherever you may find me, I am known as the Mate. 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 Mm. Angel Snup Nup 7, I am your soul brother. Number one. I've been up all night. <laughs> I've been up all night because our brother Tahara how do you pronounce that brother's name? Tahaka Bay, Moore's World TV. Um, he kept me he kept me up way past my bedtime, and I couldn't go to sleep. I can't sleep during the day, so I'm gonna have to make up for any rest uh, that I lost. Later on tonight. How you doing that conscious carnivore? Thank you for joining us this morning. I think it was somebody else I saw earlier. I think it was Jay. Where you at Jay? Let me, let me, bring, oh there go Jay. Jay the Great. Jay the Great is in the house. Yeah, so uh, what a wonderful way to begin the new year. What is this about? Why delete? Why delete him, Soul Brother 85? Who y'all talking about? Who you, who, get, who you guys talking about? I probably can't see all the people that come into the chat. I don't know who you're talking about. I, um, excuse me, I'm a little sleepy, like I told you, but we're gonna, we're gonna talk a little bit here. <clears throat> what a wonderful way to begin the new year. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, what is this, day number four? And we are brotherly. And we are vibing and we're getting down. With the Grand Sheik. The Grand Sheik. Moore's World TV. And the brother reminded <laughs> The brother reminded me of a mistake I did make. It was a misunderstanding. I... As you know, I did make a a bad video talking about our brother. And again, I have no problem with apology after apology because the brother deserves it. This is what happens to us when we act on emotion, when we act or what is that? We look before we leap. But due to the brother's character, but due to the brother's character, he pushed that to the side. Forgive him, Father, for he know not what he do. And last night we had a wonderful time on his program. Shout out to uh, our brother Taharake, Tahaka Bay. I'm going to pronounce that. I'm going to get it right. Moore's World TV, the chat room, all of those who were with us, 
And mind you, the first time we was there, and we talked about uh, my adventure with Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam, and his audience was asked to vote, do you want to see this brother back? Put a one in the chat room. And the whole chat room lit up. One, one. That's because we are number one. Y'all did the right thing. And so we come back again. In fact, the first time we were supposed to talk about the Mississippi campaign and never got around to it. This time around, we were supposed to talk about the Mississippi campaign and really didn't get to have the conversation. I guess I'm such a controversial figure. It's just so much drama that surround me when it comes down to important things. We just can't ignore it. Brother, what you think about this? Who are these people chasing you? What's going on? <laughs> but it's all gravy because that name is still out there. This name, Operation Exodus Mississippi Campaign. And that's the beginning. It's a little taste, but it's better than nothing. And we got that taste. In fact, we got a little victory also under our belts. We'll talk about that in just a second here, or a minute. Now, you know, it was our intent. It was our intent to begin this new year talking about none of, nothing about what happened last year, leave all that stuff behind, begin anew, begin afresh. That's what we're doing. And that's what the theme of our activity this year, we already went through the purge. Now we want to go and begin the healing. What a better way to begin the healing than the healing between myself and Moore's World TV. We are beginning the new year on a wonderful, wonderful front. It's incredible. It's incredible. And brother, Morris World TV brought it up. He said, you, you call yourself. <laughs> you call yourself the most powerful voice on YouTube. What make you say such a thing, bruh? I get 10 views. I only have 10 subscribers. And I got YouTube talking about me. It's about me. Nobody listened to me, but you're talking about me. 10 views, 10 subscribers. 100 channels terminated. I'm still here. And you're still talking about me. Reality's Temple. What is that Mississippi campaign? That fraud, that pipe dream? It don't make no difference, bad or good. You're talking about me. Somebody. Somebody that you don't listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Conscious. <clears throat> it's amazing. On my own channel, I get a certain amount of views. I, I believe, I can't prove it. I believe Google messed with my view, view count, messed with my views. Because it's, it's incredible how so many people know who I am, know what I'm doing, 
but I don't get the views. But if you go to other channels that talk about me, they get more views than I do. It has to be a Google thing. How is somebody going to get more views off Angel Snub Number 7 than Angel Snub Number 7 himself? It don't make any sense. It's got to be a Google thing. Whatever. We still continue to do our thizzy. And guess what? Guess what? 10 views, 10 subscribers, channels terminated, gossip, slander, and nothing has changed. Here we are on another channel, and the new channel get the same views, the same 10 subscribers, the 10 views. Nothing has changed. No damages. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> we some bad people. <laughs> so why can't we say that we're the most powerful voice on YouTube that no matter what we say, apparently it hurts people's feelings. We are famous for hurting people's feelings. Now, you might get angry at Sonetta, and you might get angry at Cynthia G, or you might get angry at, at Morris World TV. But when Angel Snub Nub 7 talk about you, it's a hurtful thing. <laughs> People, really, they get really, really upset. And it is because I'm not trying to really make mockery of you. I'm not really trying to shame you or degrade you. I'm just presenting to you my observation. And you know that that observation is true. But instead of working on your fault, working on your error, you, you would rather continue to do what you're doing. So you keep digging yourself deeper into the grave. And you do not improve you begin to deteriorate. And that's not Angel Snub Nub 7 fault. So my words and my voice carries a lot of weight for somebody that you're not even listening to. And for some reason, once you do hear Angel Snub Nub 7, you can't ignore what I said, you can't let it go. Feelings is just so, so hurt. <laughs> but I'm not the powerful voice. I'm a nobody. And this is not to brag. This is not to boast. This is the reality. And I earned it. A lot of people pretend like, who is that guy? Never. Somewhere at some time, Angel Snub Nub 7, before they start messing with my views on YouTube and blah, 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 these people know who Angel Snub Nub 7 is. And I might have made a video about you. So, all this stuff, who is Angel Snub Nub 7? What it? I've been on here for since 2007. I was here before Morris World TV. I was here before Sonetta. I was here before Cynthia G. I was here before Tariq Nasheed. I was here before all y'all. All of y'all. And before Google start messing with me, I was getting the same views that y'all get. And when Angel Snub Nub 7 speak, people listen. Google on YouTube is the reason why I'm not up there. My view count isn't like it's supposed to be. A hundred channels. Why would a corporation, Google, why would they go all, 
Matter of fact, let me show you something. Let me. Uh, this was my lawsuit against Google right here. I don't know if you can see that. This was my lawsuit against Google. I don't know if you can see that real well. This is this is the pamphlet that they gave me when I sued Google back in when did I sue Google? 2010, something like that, 11, something like that. I forgot what it was. They were really, really upset. <laughs> Google hurt. Google knows who Angel Snub Nub Seven is. <laughs> and guess what? Google might not even know who these other people is. All all these superstars. Google know who Talik Ibn Ra is. Not Lauren L. Ray. Google knows who Talik Ibn Ra is. <laughs> we ain't forgot what you did. <laughs> See, other people was talking. I'm going to sue Google. Google make me sick. Keep messing with our channel. I'm the only one that actually sued Google. The only one. And Google knows me. <clears throat> uh oh, look like we had a spy in the house. Is this conscious person a spy? <laughs> I don't know what's going on in the chat room. I have to let the deacons handle it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I get the update later on. <laughs> they say conscious is a spy. <laughs> I hit weird vibes from his name alone. <laughs> well, I let the deacons handle that. I, I I don't know what's going on in the chat room. Um. Again, shout out to Morris World TV. Shout out to the chat room. And like we said. Morris World TV chat room likes Angel Snubbed Up 7. So if you don't like Angel Snubbed Up 7 <laughs> and you come to Morris World TV, you might have a problem on your hands, which they found out. We're going to talk about that. But we want to talk about this Mississippi campaign thing <clears throat> real quick. Now, why don't people have the same type of questions, the same type of examination for these ideologies and these beliefs that they gravitate to? Of course, they get angry at Angel Snub Number 7 for bringing those things up. And I don't get angry. I'm just like, let's be fair. Let's be just. The same vigor, the same way you want to examine Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign, why we don't see that when it comes to your religion and, and your ideologies. Now, mind you, Mississippi campaign, was created in, in 2018. If you were successful, listen, if you were successful and if you was making progress in doing all these wonderful, beautiful, beautiful things, what if a wonderful day in the pro-black neighborhood, what if a wonderful day in the pan-African neighborhood, would you be mine? Would you be mine? If you, look, if you were successful, if you was making progress, doing what you're doing, understand this, reality's temple on earth would not exist. Mississippi campaign would not exist. There would be no need for me to run my mouth because you're taking care of business 
and you're successful and you and because of your leadership the people the masses you're going to a good place but the universe or God or however you want to call it because of the mercy then it has to raise something new. Otherwise, you don't have a chance because these ideologies, these religions, these things that you're loyal to is not working. You have to have a change. So from up out of your womb comes Angel Snub Nub 7 who used to think like you do, who used to roll just like you do. I was pro-black. These things that you're, what you believe in, I believe in Jesus at one time. All these things that you, that you was, Angel Snuffin' Up 7 was. But something new had to come from out of your womb. What we're doing is not working. You have to change your strategy. You have to change your strategy. You have to change how you think and how you look at things because this is 2022. This is not 1930. This is not 1950, 1980, or even 2000. This is 2022. And you're not adapting to the time. Just because there's a similarity between 1930 and 2022, it's a similarity, but they're not the same. A peach and a nectarine are similar, but they're not the same. Hmm. So you want to get angry at Angel Snub Number 7 is because I answered the call because the call is for something new or you dead. You're dead. You're not going to go nowhere. You're like a dog that chases his tail. You're just going around in circles and you're happy chasing your own tail. A dog chasing his own tail does not impress other dogs, don't impress nobody. You just look silly going round and round chasing your own tail. So we are here because a change is needed. You're not successful. You're doing too little, too late. You haven't reached beyond the mindset of a slave. What do you, this is too, look. This is 2022. What do these people do that a slave did not do? Matter of fact, you have not even accomplished what slaves have done. Slaves built their own towns and small cities. You haven't, you don't control your neighborhood, let alone control a town or a city. You don't even control your neighborhood. You're happy because you got some farmland. That's what we used to do back in the day. My grandparents and ancestors, they were farmers. They had farmland. What are you doing different that a slave could not do. You should be shamed. You should be embarrassed. And it's thousands of you. Hundreds of you. You drive pretty cars. You got degrees on the wall. Got lots of money in your pocket. You talk good. You pronounce 
the English language correctly, <laughs> but you still but you're still in a slave condition and have no power. We should have nuclear power plants. We should have electrical grids. We should be building our own roads. All the things a free people supposed to do. You go out and spend a hundred thousand dollars, seventy, seventy to a hundred thousand dollars, whatever, for a luxury car, and you don't even build no kind of road to drive your car on. No road. You have all these fancy telephones and computers, and you wear all these beautiful clothes. You don't make no clothes. You make no computers. You make no cell phones. You don't even make the, the liquor that you drink. You like to get drunk every Saturday night. Some of y'all get drunk while you're listening to me. Man, I, you know, ain't just snubbed up seven is a trip. <laughs> Go ahead, snupper. <laughs> Go ahead, snupper lop <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Go ahead. You might grow, some of y'all might grow you a little weed for yourself. You, you might do that. I, I I know I've seen guys do that. Go ahead, snupper. Yeah, yeah go ahead, man. They, they be chipping, man. They they get it together one day. They, they get it. <laughs> so, I'm not going to keep us long here. I just want to rant just a, a little bit. So they put all the pressure on Angel Snub Number 7. You need to go to Mississippi. You need boots on the ground. They telling me what I need to do. What are you doing? What have you done? You telling me Angel Snub Number 7 needs boots on the ground. Angel Snub Number 7 need to do this. But they don't talk about what they've done. Because they don't have nothing to show. They're not going to tell us what they've done. And if they do tell you, it's some rinky-dink stuff. There ain't nothing to speak of. White man not impressed. Africans not impressed. Ain't nobody impressed except you. Look what I do. Look what I do. <laughs> nobody impressed by your that little slave stuff that you do. If you don't do it big, if you don't do it magnificent, you might as well not do nothing at all. Now here I am. First of all, first of all, I'm not your savior. I'm not the Messiah. The only thing we're going to do is tell you about your options. Now, if you want to do it, let's do this together. It's not an Angel Snub Nub 7 project. It's not a reality. It's not a Deacons of Reality project or a Mellow Cap project. It's a, it's, it's a we project. Not what Angel Snub Nub 7 going to do. Lazy ass people looking for a savior and a messiah. You want me to do all the work. Get in my car. Go up and down the road for, for your nothing ass. So you will benefit. We're not going to do that. I'm not going to sacrifice my life and my money and my time so your ragged ass that sit around what you going to do? I ain't going to do a damn thing for you. Now, when you, when you get it together and say, we going to do this, then let we do this. Angel Snub Number 7, Deacons of Reality, nobody here, we're not going to go out, out of our way to do a damn thing. Sit back in the cut. Since you so smart, since you so wise, just sit back in the cut 
and keep talking about y'all loser ass. That's what I'm going to do. Here I am. I'm almost 60 years old. And I'm sick. I'm immune compromised. I couldn't go out and do anything if I wanted to. I'll probably be a real easy victim for COVID or Omicron, whatever the hell it is. And I'm not worth nothing to you dead, period. But you don't give a damn. You don't care. You want somebody else like Malcolm X and Dr. King or somebody else, you want them to do the work. And the sad thing about it, when they do the work and you benefit, you still turn around and talk about them like a dog. I see channels where they talk about Dr. King like a dog and Malcolm X. And where is your work at? What have you done? I'm not going to, I learned my lesson. Do not die for these ingrates, these bastards, pieces of trash. That's what you are until you prove otherwise. Do you know why you're not free? Do you know why you're not liberated? Because you don't deserve it. That's why. Do you know why I'm talking to you right now? And I was locked up for 10 years because I earned it. I fought. And I earned my freedom. It was not given to me. I had to work day and night. I had to deny certain things. I had to be disciplined. And learn, learn, learn the right way. And now I can talk to you because I earned it. You want God or the spirit of Marcus Garvey? You want somebody to come and save you? Well, keep waiting. Keep waiting. It's like this. I'm cutting the grass. I'm 22 years old. I'm cutting the grass. And an older man in a wheelchair. Hey, come here, son. What you want, old man? If you do this and take the lawnmower and cut it at this angle here, you'll get done faster and save you some gas and save you some energy. Oh, old man, you don't know what you're talking about. Why don't you show me? The old man is in a wheelchair. He cannot show you. But he has wisdom and he has the experience to show you, to tell you how you can save yourself some time and energy. Dumbass young people. Smart person. Let me try that. So you try. Come on, this old man don't seem like he know what the hell he talking about. I'm going I'm to I'm try it. Then next thing you know, Hey, hey, old man, it work. A lot of us elder people, some of us have some sense. Some of us have some experience in life. You don't know. So here I am, I'm telling you, I've been in this crowd for 45 years. Blackity black, black, black. I was worse than you. I was worse than you. Because when I was 18, 19 years old, I was 19, I believe. By myself. I was planning on assassinating the president of the United States, Ronald Reagan. I'm thinking about how I'm going to do this. And planning how to assassinate the president. Y'all, y'all not that bad. You don't think that way. I think physical. I was talking about the physical last night. They don't want to talk about the physical. 
You got to show these people, if you don't want to do the Mississippi campaign, then you have to show your oppressor, if you hurt me, you can get hurt too. 600,000 of us die, 200,000 of yours die, but guess what? You paid a price. And I guarantee you, if they know killing six of us, two or three of them got to die, I guarantee you, people look at messing with you a whole lot different. But when people know they can mess with you and they don't have to suffer no consequence, that's why they keep doing to us what they do. You go first. <laughs> you go first. Scary ass. I will go first. You stand behind me and get ready to roll. You not they're not going to show up. They don't even like they don't want to hear us even talk that way. And of course you know the government, this guy talking telling the, the, the people to get together and have a, a big civil war. You damn skip it. You're going to leave us the hell alone. Once and for all. But what you want to do, you want to keep marching, keep crying, going to funerals, and not only with the white man, I'm talking about these gangs in our neighborhoods too. All this criminal activity in our neighborhoods. The men go out, the men go out and you tell these gang members, that's over, no more. Yes, yeah, some of you, some of the brothers going to get killed, but you're going to kill all the gang members, all the pimps. You're going to push all the prostitutes out your neighborhoods. They all going to be gone. That's what men do. I saw a, a rooster and these dogs come to mess with his hands. He's only one rooster. This one rooster took on two dogs and kicked their ass. He, he made it. He was hurt. They bit his wings all up and feathers was everywhere. But he was willing to risk his Oh. He was willing to risk his life for his chicks and his hens. There's no wonder why the black woman, there's no wonder why the soul sister feel the way she feel because she don't have a rooster. She don't have a man. If you mess with my woman, you mess with my children, somebody going to pay a price. She don't have that. Because if she had a real man in her life, they wouldn't listen to Cynthia G. They wouldn't listen. They wouldn't be talking about, I divest this and I divest. They wouldn't be talking about that. Because they got a, a strong man. I remember when I was 19 years old in Temple Number 7, and we was in Brooklyn, and in Brooklyn, New York, on those streets, it's like three lanes wide. Three lanes wide. It's a six-lane street. And when the meeting is over, all by myself, look, all by myself, little skinny guy, I go out in the middle of the highway, this, this busy road in Brooklyn, and I stop all the traffic for the sisters that have to cross the street all by myself. I always secure our sisters. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said and taught, protect the black woman. You're not going to hit my sisters crossing the street. I'm blocking all this stuff off. And I did it by myself. Ran up and down across the street. Stop, 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 stop. And the traffic stopped. And the sisters walked and the children walked to their car safely. This is what we're supposed to be doing for the black woman, whether she likes it or not. We're supposed to be opening doors. We're supposed to be, be her protector. We're supposed to secure our woman. That's what we're supposed to be doing. 
secure our children. That's what the man's supposed to do. And if necessary, you lay down your life for that woman and those children. Oh, I ain't doing nothing. I, I can't do nothing. I don't really blame you. The mentality and the mindset a lot of our people have, I don't blame you. I wouldn't lay my uh, life down for a, a stupid woman. But if we could get ourselves together and that woman is on your side, yes. Yes. She should feel secure. She should feel protected. And your children, your boys and your girls, when they look at us as men, look at my daddy. That's my daddy out there. That's my uncle. That's my cousin. Woo, man. The black woman and your children, they love you. We are failing them. What a wonderful present to give to the black woman, to give to our children. In honor of Malcolm X and Dr. King and all our freedom fighters, known and unknown, we take control of this space that's poverty stricken. We take our brain, we take our know-how, we bring it to this one geographical area and make this poverty-stricken state wealthy and powerful, and then we spread our wings to Alabama, Georgia, or wherever we want to go. Because whoo, see, a man is a conqueror. You get in territory for your family. You get in territory for your seed. Don't tell me about your legacy. What, is, what kind of legacy are you leaving? Uh, duh, duh. I'm getting some generational wealth. Duh, 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 duh. I got some farmland. Duh, 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 duh. Chunk change. I got a tank. I control the law. I control the Mississippi River, river that rolls through my land. I control the Mississippi River. I control the electricity and the gas, the laws and the policies. I don't know where you do anywhere else, but when you come here, the black man rule. What a wonderful present for your wife and your daughters. The future generations will praise you forever. Woo, they took care of business, man. This is what the Mississippi campaign brings us. All this other little tiddlywink stuff cannot do it. It's trial and error, but we have a blueprint, we have a foundation, and you go for gusto. If that's not working, you back off, try something new. But when it's all said and done, you're going to be successful, you're going to be free, you're going to be liberated because you earned it. Because you earned it. Shout out to Alabama. Jay is in Alabama. Shout out to our people in Alabama. Shout out to Jay in Alabama. You tell me what other ide ideology or religion or plan that can give you, bring you the benefits that the Mississippi campaign is telling you it can bring and it can do that if you want the problem is do you want power do you want freedom that's the problem do you really want it some of us talk i mean y'all talk yeah man freedom black power black power freedom y'all talk a good game but you're not you're not really like, uh, what's his name? Master P said, y'all not really bout it, bout it, bout it, bout it. Y'all not bout it. You're not. You are bullshitters. 
That's what you are. And you get angry at Angel Snub Number no. 7 because you know that I know you're a bullshitter. I've been real with mine ever since I was a little boy. Proven. Razzy in the house. Got to, you know, I, I have to acknowledge my people. Razzy in the house. Razzy. <laughs> Razzy not no joke. Razzy's not no joke. Don't play. Razzy put my nephew in check. <laughs> Real quick. Hey, we don't, we don't do that here. <laughs> hey, hold up. That's my nephew, Razzy. <laughs> hold up. Put my nephew in check. Don't play no games here. That's your problem. You're not bout it, bout it. You're not real about yours. The elders that I was helping when I was young, they didn't get it right. I do not want you to continue on that path. I'm telling you, I already done that. All this stuff that y'all talking about, I've been there, done that. It's not going anywhere. Why you want to keep doing and investing your time and your money and your and your feelings into something that's not working? I already been through that for you. You don't have to keep making the mistake that I did when I was younger. And it really wasn't a mistake. The elders just didn't know what the hell they was doing. Firecon don't know what he's doing. He's not a leader. He's just a preacher. Most of these people are just preachers. They, they're not leaders. They don't have any vision. They don't have any creativity. They don't have any purpose. They don't have any vision. A people without vision will perish. Trying to turn somebody into a Muslim is not a vision. You, that's not being a visionary. That's all Louis Farrakhan can offer is to try to turn you into a Muslim. A leader has to understand the situation that he or she is in and work with the tools that they are given and try to take advantage of that for what is in the best interest of the people, not them. That's y'all problem. You thinking about what's good for you. You have to understand the people. If you're doing it for the people, the people are diverse. The people are not going to be Pan-Africans. The people are not going to be black first. The people are not going to be these things. They're not going to change into what you want them to be. It's not going to happen. So if you're working for the people, then you have to transform yourself and adapt to the people that you're trying to help. They're not going to turn into what you want. Some will, but they're not going to do that. It's over 40 million. It's not going to happen. They're not, they're not interested in all this blackity black, pan African skin color stuff it's arc that's an archaic mindset their minds are not there no more i just want to be able to eat i just want my bills paid i just want to try to live my life as peaceful as possible they're not really interested in all this other extra stuff that y'all want to put on them that's good for you And maybe they might get with you one day. But get them free. Show us how we can get free. Show us how we can gain some power. That's number one. <clears throat> Razzy says, these trolls need to get cooked by, by Nandy to hell. Shout out to the Honorable Deacons of Reality, Soul Brother 85, Twin Pyramid. And mellow cow. <laughs> Nandy, 
<laughs> Nandy knows she be roasted these folks. <laughs> Woo, man. We're going to uh, we're going to have our own open house on the Mississippi campaign, and instead of critiquing something, instead of trying to down people, why don't you bring what you got to the table and let's see if we can work it together, and you can make the Mississippi campaign better. But you're here to tear it down before it can stand up. That makes you a predator. That makes you a vicious enemy. You want Angel Snub number seven to do all the work. If you notice, they don't offer us a dime. I have 10 subscribers. I got 10 helpers. We get 10 views. Donate and help us do this. Oh, that, that's y'all's job. Y'all supposed to do it. So what the hell are you concerned about? So many people worry, what about your Mississippi campaign? What about it? You don't donate. You don't help. What the hell you care about? People make me sick with that crap. But I'm not going to do it anyway. I'm not your savior. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. Look, I'm fine. I just sit back in the cut and laugh at y'all. Keep being losers like you are. Bunch of ragged ass losers. And that's what you don't like about Angel Snub No. 7. Because I call you out because you're a damn loser. Your little tiddly wink crap that you do. Don't impress nobody. Don't impress the white man. It don't impress the, the Arabs. It don't impress the Africans or the Chinese. That little tiddly wink stuff. And then you got these some of these weak ass women. Oh, that's that's so that's beautiful what you just did. We just bought we just bought uh ten more acres of land. <laughs> acres of land, acres, acres of land, acres of land. It's nothing. You know, that was Nandy roasted Alquan so bad. And the sad thing about it is he still haven't shown the evidence that he said that he had. He didn't have no damn evidence. <laughs> he don't have no damn evidence. He roasted himself. It's amazing, and these people have no shame. They still stick to the same narrative. Dumbass people. I, I mean, if, if, if that happened to me, I, I'd probably shut the channel down. That's really embarrassing. Really embarrassing. You're not free. You're not liberated because you have not earned it. And you will not listen to your elders. You will not listen to those with a new strategy, a new mindset that you can try so that you can be successful because you're arrogant and you're know-it-alls. And like I told the brother on the panel, why are you sniggling and giggling? Thank you, thank you, uh, it's common sense. Because it's all about common sense. It's all about common sense. I didn't have to say nothing last night, really. The brother got, got a, a sharp mind. He's a thinker. A lot of the people that listen to him are thinkers. They're not going to get that off. I just sit back in the cutting and just did this. Sit back in the cut and listen. And they grasping for, for answers. Trying to squirm and, and dodge. You don't like Angel Snub Nut 7 because I call you out on your bullshit. It's simple as that.
and I laugh at you because you're a loser and you're supposed to be laughed at. You don't you don't impress nobody. Your little funky land that you just bought. I'm not giving these people a dime. My ancestors already have died and bled for this land. What do it look like for me to go give them some, some more of my money that I work hard for? I'm not doing that. Beat these people at their own game. Outslick the slickster. Outtrick the trickster. I want to say this as we get into closing. Because like we said, I don't really want to talk about these, these people. They don't mean anything. We destroyed their narrative and beat them up months and months ago. <clears throat> they steady trying to <laughs> and look stupid trying to get, get it off. This is the month of Ramadan. For those who still believe in the original teachings of Elijah Muhammad. This is the month of Ramadan. During the month of Ramadan, you, you deny yourself food during the daylight hours. And during the month of Ramadan, it's all about tranquility and peace. Positive vibrations. That's what the month of Ramadan is about. For some people. Here we have a Leah Robinson, Patricia Robinson, whatever name she want to go, Patricia Cooley. She also goes by the name of Patricia Cooley. She's supposed to be, I follow the most, I follow the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. I, I love Elijah Muhammad. I follow the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. This is January. This is January, uh, Ramadan, the month of December. My bad. But even so, during the month of Ramadan, she was not being positive about nothing, a peace breaker, cussing, vulgar, nasty. During the whole month of Ramadan, we know because a lot of her nationalism was directed toward us. Muslim. We said that we was going to begin this year on a positive note. So here we are with our brother talking about the Mississippi campaign. That's the topic, right? Nobody talking about these people. They in the chat room with their hands up. I want to talk about, I want to, I want to, why are you here? They charge me with cyber stalking. They charged me with cyber harassment. But they come where the stalker and the person that's the abuser and the manipulator, they come to where I'm at. I'm not, look, any lawyer would tell you if somebody is stalking you or bullying, cyber bullying you, you cannot have contact with that person because when a judge looks at you going to, I thought, see, because you're trying to say that this person is causing you some kind of fear and you are, you scared for your life and all this other nonsense. But here they are. Sister Nova sent me emails. She's on the panel right next to me. She's talking to me. But I'm stalking you. I'm harassing you. I thought she was a paralegal. 
Apparently, you don't know anything about the law at all. Or maybe you don't mean what you say. You just out here because you caught up in your, your emotions. But you too arrogant to say, can we talk, angel, and then and bring this to some kind of conclusion? I, I don't want to do this no more. We don't have to be friends, but we don't have to do this no more. I, I'm done. I can't do it no more. But see, she has these other people in her ear. These, these demons that she called. She called me a demon, but you got the demons right there, which after last night, after what the brother was talking about, you should have a change of heart and start looking at things differently. But you're listening to these pieces of garbage who's not going to do nothing for you. The only thing they're going to do is drag you down to hell. <laughs> Is this real? I don't, this might be a fake uh, account. I don't know if that's the real account. I think that's a fake account. <clears throat> but, um, see, for me, it's, it's like this. It says, do not take the law into your own hand. Take it to court. Let a, since y'all believe everything the white man say, then let the white man judge everything. And when you lose, since you are a law-abiding citizen, when you lose, I'm just like young Pharaoh. Wear my bag. Give me my bag. And when you lose, all those people who had faith in you, What's going to happen with them? Let's go to court. My receipts versus your receipts. And let's see who come out on top. I already know. They gave me the receipts. I didn't... Uh, I didn't even have any receipts until they made them for me. I didn't even have any receipts. But they made the receipts for me. So, this was an opportunity. This was an opportunity to uh, 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 try to embarrass and humiliate Angel Snub Number Seven on a larger platform. And just like Alquan, it all went down in flames. This platform, we've been here before. The majority of the people like Angel Snub Number Seven. And these people on this platform are thinkers. They're not all into their emotions. They they think. And so Angel Snub Number Seven just sit back in the cut. Did this. And Sister Noble kept digging a hole deeper and deeper and deeper. The brother did an excellent job asking questions because stuff it, it wasn't making any sense. But even so, we win even when we lose. This is a wonderful way to begin the new year. Alquan got his got smashed all up, got ripped up. Here we got Sister Noble. She gets all messed up. Poor chop, if you you mess with the brother, you're gonna get messed up. All, I, see, some people think they are real good liars. 
This brother, you're not going to get that over. He's not going to let you slide like that. It's not going to happen. Your best bet is, we're not talking about you. I'm not interested in you. If we need to go to court, let's do that. We're not interested in you. I'm thinking positive vibes. So we went from the purge. Now we're going to enter the healing. What do we do to heal? What do we do to, to self-improve? And I'm working on some things. They're going to get even more jealous and more angry. Because all we do is win. I don't like taking no for an answer. I like to strive to be the best. Now, if they want to lose, if the, if the majority of the people on the, on the they want to, to uh, keep doing what they're doing, oh well. We are not your savior. We're not your Messiah. We offer you an option. We offer you a plan. If you don't want to get with it, that's cool. Hey, that's how it go. I'm not going to beg you to, to do a damn thing. And I'm not responsible for black people. You grown men and women, you're responsible for your damn self. If you want to be free, if you want power, let's go get it. If you're comfortable doing your thizzy, what you're doing, that's cool too. But don't come out here pretending, I want to be free, black power. No, you don't. You're a liar. Because you're doing nothing to gain that power. And you're not willing to sacrifice and do what's necessary in order to gain that power. It's not going to be given to you. No, nobody in power is going to give somebody enough power to challenge them. It's not going to never happen. So really, we don't have to, uh, it's not my intent to talk about these people. They're not on my mind. And when I was talking, I did not mention none of their names or we was talking about the Mississippi campaign. And I really want to get into depth how to make the Mississippi campaign better. Bring your strategy. Show us the flaw. Show us the error. But I do know, and I'm very confident, we got to do something big to get into the to, to get into the race. I do know that, and far as I can see, this is the only vision. This is the only plan that can that's that can that's big that incorporates all the people, so we can say we did this. Not Angel Snub No Seven, not Morris World TV, not Razzy Fry. We are doing this. It's important. That it be we, not the nation of Islam, not the Moore Science Temple, not the Comedic League or whatever you want to call yourself. This has to be a we activity. I want the drug addicts involved. I want the prostitutes involved. How are you going to do all that? They are people. They're human beings. You can talk with our people. You think somebody was born talking about, I want to be a drug addict. I want to be a prostitute when I grow up. That's not what something happened to our people in people's lives. While we building this for ourselves, we are building the people themselves. What do they say in religion? We're going to get out of here. What do they say in religion? The church is the people. The wood and the concrete is just a building. But the church is the people. Your nation is the people. So you can be in a state, and the state is Mississippi, a part of the United States. But that's just a geographical area. That's just a building. The nation is the people. And when the people get tired, of just controlling of a state, they will 
create the nation that you claim that you want. We might not be here to see it, but they would do it because you put them on, as they say in the Quran, put us, we put them on the right path. This, this is a big conversation. It's a big job. But when you do it, you're going to get a big payoff, which is going to be good for the 40 million. And we're going to make, and you can make Marcus Garvey, Noble Drew Ali, you can make all our ancestors proud. Like, wow. They did it. All our sacrifice, all our suffering, all our deaths was not in vain. Look what they did. Go ahead. Right now, there's nothing to be proud of. Nothing. And this is why the people aren't attracted to you either. You're doing the same old, same old. And y'all, a lot of you are corrupt. Don't think you wanted some money and some booty and some praise. Nobody, folks are sick of that crap. The reason why we're so small is because we're real. We're real. Give me 5,000. Give me a couple of million dollars. I'm running my mouth. Let's see what I can do. What you gonna do, sir? Support me like you support these other Failure efforts. And let's see what I, since I'm running my mouth, talking all this big shot stuff, support me like you do all this other loser stuff. And let's see what I can do. Try me. Scared to try. Because you really don't want liberation. You don't want to be free. I'll probably be dead from now in the next few years. Who give a damn? I don't care nothing about uh, fancy cars and houses and that stuff don't mean you can't take that to the grave with you. But I would like to know when I take my last breath, I would like to know that y'all going to be all right. I would also like to know Terry Ellis. <laughs> That's my girl. I want to know Terry Ellis. And I'll be a happy camper. I'll be like, well, I got Terry, and they doing good, and I can go out. Mm. All this material crap, it don't mean nothing to me. Our real freedom, our real liberation is what is important to me. It means nothing. It has no value. I want to be one of those people that the future generations will say, whoo, that was a bad man. Thank you, ancestor. Thank you. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for helping us. All of us right now, we are the pioneers. We are the ancestors that can break the mold and take us to greatness. Put our people on a path Greater than Kemet, greater than ancient Ethiopia, greater than Rome. You don't see it, do you? You don't see it because you still got that slave mentality, that mind. You can't come, how are we going to do better than, than Kemet? But this time, when you build the pyramids, you're going to remember how you done it. <laughs> you got some pyramid. We built the pyramid. How did you do it? I don't know. <laughs> you build the pyramid, you're going to know how you've done it. And that's what it's about. You say that you God, and you say you're so damn smart, prove it. Take control of the state. You don't even have to do it with me. Go ahead. Prove to me that you are God, and you got it going on like that. Take the state. Control the state.
All right, common sense. We, I'm getting ready to roll out myself. Thank you for being here. Uh, let me put his comment on. He's getting ready to roll out. Got to get out of here, but peace to you, brother, and everyone in the chat. I'm going to start calling you snubbing up 007 because you killed two two different people on two, <laughs> on two different platforms. <laughs> Ooh, you know how we do it. You know how we do it. <laughs> Aqua mad as hell. That troll, no, he he's he's angry as hell this morning. Woo, he's angry. But uh, yeah, let us support the Mississippi campaign. Let's push that. And uh, we got Ebony back in the house. And uh, I guess we're just gonna have to keep Ebony. She she's determined to be with us. Um, I did send the deacons. Screenshots where you you was talking about me pretty bad, uh, uh, Ebony, and uh, you know and so. That's why we treat you the way that we treated you because. Uh, I'm not making nothing up. I took the screenshots, sent it to Mellow Cap. I sent it to the Deacon, and you you wasn't very uh, friendly. But I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. Okay, well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> but uh, before we get out of here, any more comments or, or questions I can deal with real quick, and we'll get out of here. So they said that Ebony was playing spy. Well, they watching this video. Your your cover is blown. And pork chop don't play that spy stuff. She'll see you, and she'll see you and start going off on you. Pork chop is a bad mama jamma. <laughs> Twins say your spy tactics are horrible. <laughs> don't do that again, Ebony. <laughs> Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> and Razzie said, Aquan's biggest problem is he has no fans. <laughs> he has no fans. People listen, uh, but don't support. They don't donate to him. He, he's desperate. He even took down his GoFundMe. Is Alberta still on her rampage? I don't... You, I would hope that she learned something from last night. And we don't have to be friends, but she can call and squash all the, the garbage. Because she, not only did she, she talk about me, she, she talked about my family. She talked about my mother, said my mother was crazy. And she took pictures of my sisters from Facebook or wherever. I don't know where they got the pictures from. And and brought them. They out there minding their own business. They don't care about, they don't even mess with social media like that. But she's being guided listening to, to, to uh, Patricia Cooley, Patricia Robinson. And you're going to get, she's going to get all caught up in some stuff. I mean, it was already, I mean, well, last night, that's all I'm going to say. Last night, we should have learned something. And it's not going to get better. Right is right. Truth is truth. Angel Snub Nub 7. I can make a mistake. I can be in error. Angel Snub Nub 7 is not a liar. I'm not a liar. We was on Morris, um, Morris World TV last night. The Morris brother, Tara Hake, I cannot, I got to get that, his name right. Taha Hake K. Bay, <laughs> Morris World TV, the, I can't get that brother's name. If we see Ebony become a moderator on Doodoo's channel, then we know what's up. I doubt it. Uh, <laughs> we sending a shout out to, to Razzie. And uh, Soul Brother said, I hope that 
Alberta can let this go. Twin says she won't. Well, I mean, they got two ass whoopings in a row. I mean, Alcor got messed up. That's my favorite video. I just go back and forth to that video when when uh Nandy was telling him, bring the receipts, bring the receipts. And then when he finally brought the receipts, he said the same exact thing that I was telling people all the time. And Nandy said, get your... <laughs> That was some funny stuff. That was some funny stuff. And then, last night, Sister Nova came on and got caught up. I didn't, I didn't say nothing when I was with, with Sister Nandy on her channel. Shout out to Sister Nandy and Black Sign and all the crew over there. Also, shout out to B1, uh, Brother Maurice, and the B1 Initiative. I didn't even say nothing. I knew he wasn't going to be able to bring no receipt. That's why I said, I'm not going to take this con uh, conversation no further. Bring your receipt. Prove it right now. Bring it right now. I knew he couldn't bring no receipt. I got all the emails. I never invited him to be a speaker at uh, Soul Liberation Day. And I never use D. Durrell's content. He's a Pan-African. What do I need his content for? Angel was using my content. D. Durrell. Umar Johnson ass liquor. What the hell I need his content for? What the hell do I need Nepal Shadar Sarnetta content for? I don't need none of that content. Or, or Sister no, I don't need what I need to... What do I need these people content for? We're not even the same. Even when I talk about them, I don't need their content. I just talk about your happy ass. I don't need your, I don't need your content. I put up a thumbnail and talk about your ragged ass. Yes, Alquan did get destroyed. I almost I almost shed a tear for him. It, it was it was terrible. But you know, hey. Folks, folks like being losers. If you want to get with a winner, you got to get rid of them chicken dinners. And on that note, I want to thank the Dickens of Reality. I want to thank Razzie Fry. I want to thank Conscious and uh, Jay and all those who was in the chat room uh, this afternoon. I thank you so much for uh, listening. And... Uh, this is the healing, and we're going to focus on uh, healing from the purge, self-improvement, so that we can go forward. And we're not going to hang on to persons who want to continue to be toxic. I, I don't have no time for it, and I don't. I'm going. I just ignore those things. And plus, it's redundant. We've already beat these people up real bad months ago. So what sense do it make for me to keep messing with folks? They lost the war way back in June and July or whatever. It's, it's over with. I'm working on things to bring positivity to the reality's temple on earth and bring us healing. I hope that is not boring because you know a lot of things some of these subjects and some of these topics that we get that's positive we don't really like it because it don't sound that good it's boring but that's what we're going to do we're going to try to be more positive and as they say heighten up our vibrations and and things of this nature this is what we're going to do uh, soul brother says black side might go to prison Nah, not, not because of Sister Noble. He won't be going to prison. There's no videotape. In order for her to make a case, you got to have the videotape. There's no videotape. That's a waste of time. He's been dodging the camera to 
he's been out there. He's been on other people's channels, and I think he was recently on a live stream with, with Nandy. But he's not addressing, he's not talking about Noble at all. He's done. It's, it's, that's a waste. So, on that note, let's fly out of here. Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments. And as our ancestor, Don Cornelius used to always say in party, I wish us love, peace, and soul. We are Audi 5000.